Hi, and welcome to my quick guide of the quest recipe for disaster, rescuing the cook or starting this quest. The quest requirement is cook's assistant and the skill requirement is 10 cooking. For the items needed is an eye of newt, a green man's ale, a rotten tomato, a not pre-made fruit blast and some ashes. If you want to know how to get these items all by yourself, then wait about 30 seconds until I've completed this quest and I will show you how to get these items yourself. For the recommended items are none and for the teleports is just one out of here after the quest is completed. So let's go back to the Lumbridge kitchen and talk to the cook and select option one, two and then one twice. This conversation is quite long. Alright, once you've selected the final one to help him, he will give you 100 coins and then use your ashes on the fruit blast. And then talk to the cook again since you have all the four items that he needed. And congratulations, you've completed another cook's quest. You are awarded with one quest point and an invitation to the most amazing feast you'll ever see. Alright, so right now there is no Colomancer chest located in the kitchen's basement. So to unlock this chest, we will first need to open this door to go to the dining room. But this will start a cutscene which takes about five minutes. So be prepared. All right, this was my quick guide how to complete the first out of 10 parts of recipe for disaster, freeing the cook or helping the cook. Hopefully it has helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks. Bye. So, you would like to know how to get all of these items yourself. For the items needed is just 100 coins approximately, which you've gotten from the cook, as well as a tinder box. For the recommended items are just some weight reducing armor and a couple of energy potions. For the teleports, one to the three gnome stronghold, I will be using the glider located in El Carrot. One teleportation method to Yanil, I will be using the Nightmare Zone minigame teleport. And also one teleportation method to any shop that sells Eyes of Nudes. So either Port Serum, Taverly, Arceus House or Hell, even Entrana or Gutenoth. And then one teleportation method back to Lumbridge to complete our quest. So first I would like to go and get my Eye of Nude from my Eye of Nude provider. Doesn't really matter where, just get yourself one Eye of Newt. I'm going to buy one in Port Serum. All right, Betty, give me one eye of Newt and let's now teleport to Nightmare Zone or Yanil. If you do not have access to the Nightmare Zone minigame teleport, then bring a Castle Wars teleport or use an Ardon Cloak number one. Once you are inside of Yanil City, let's go northwest of the bank to the cages and you'll find a crate behind the fence. Click on it and buy one rotten tomato and then go west. Let's go to the southwestern part of Yanil and there'll find the Dragon's Inn. That is the only bar which sells Green Man's Ale. So let's enter the bar, let's go to the counter and talk to the bartender and select option 3. Once you've gotten this, let's go to the Tree Gnome Stronghold. I will be using the glider at Dual Arena or just El Carrot. Mm -hmm. 
Once you have made it to the Trino stronghold, let's go down to the second floor. Or the first floor if you're from Britain and Europe. And then go to the southeastern part. East of Blurberry's bar, they'll find a red dot. Go towards that red dot and you should find a cocktail glass. Pick it up. And next to it you should find Henkel Funch. Trade him and buy one pineapple, one orange, two lemons, one knife, a cocktail shaker, and that is it. So, next, let's click on the cocktail shaker and make a fruit blast. Next, use your knife on the lemon, select option 1 to make it to slices, then click on the cocktail shaker again to pour it into your glass, and now we just need to return back to Lumbridge. Alright, for the final item, let's return to the Lumbridge castle and let's go to the top floor, to the bank. And here we'll find north of the bank four red dots and four logs. Light any of them. And now we just need to wait until the fire is extinguished so we can grab our ashes, which is our final item. Once we have gotten our ashes, let's return to the cook to start and also complete this quest.